Hey everybody, Brian here from Guns, Optics, and Reloading. How are you doing? I know I haven't put out a video for a little while. I've been really busy with the new baby and work and all this other stuff, but uh, I just wanted to get a video out to you guys today. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of stuff uh, in the forums and on Facebook and YouTube and all kinds of stuff on, hey, what kind of brass trimmer should I buy? Um, so what I decided to do was maybe put together this little video of give you some options. Uh, basically ranging from budget all the way up to if op, you know money is not an option what do you, what can you get so uh, here we go so first of all I'd like to thank my buddy Rudy for letting me borrow this super cool Gerard trimmer uh, this one is not mine I do not own it uh, I'd like to thank another friend of mine you know who you are uh, for sending me this one uh, the Frankfurt Arsenal and uh, these other two are mine so uh, basically, so from the budget line, and, and basically these are going to be what I would call powered trimming models, powered brass prep stuff. Uh, this is going to be, over here, is going to be the Lee Deluxe Quick Trim Die. Now you might say, Brian, come on dude, that is not powered well. When you add a powered screwdriver to the mix, it now becomes powered. So, this is going to be the budget. Um, Essentially, you know, you can get the quick trim die, uh, the quick trim base kit for like 19 bucks, and then you can buy the power piece if you want to do this one with a screwdriver for about 25 bucks. And then each caliber is going to cost you about $12, anywhere from $9 to $12 right now uh, per caliber. But the cool thing about this one is, is each caliber is basically a die. So you're going to get real consistent trims. This does chamfer and deburr for you all at the same time. So pretty much you can chamfer, deburr, trim your brass all in one pass. And when you're using the little electric screwdriver like this one here, this is from Walmart. I think I got it for like 12 or 13 bucks. A little lithium ion battery powered deal. It runs great. I've done a couple hundred rounds at a time with it. No problems. So this is going to be your inexpensive model. Also, if you don't have power, you know, whatever, end of the world scenario, uh, or you like to take stuff to the range and work on stuff while you're there. This is a great model because you can use the hand crank model. You can buy the original kit for like 18 bucks, and then if you want to add another one for 25, you know, to get the power one, or you can just buy the powered head for like another 15 bucks and swap them out. I just went ahead and got both of them. So essentially, you don't got any power, end of the world, whatever. I can still size my brass by hand, get consistent results. It's only $12, you know, anywhere from, like I said, $9 to $12 per caliber. Uh, so, you know, so you can be in it maybe, you know, 100 bucks or so by the time you get all your rifle calibers, unless you're like me and you, you know, have to have one for every caliber and it just gets expensive. But, needless to say, so this is going to be the budget model. So for the next model up, this here is the Frankfurt Arsenal Platinum Series case prep and trim center. So uh, this is your next model up, I would say, and this is 179 bucks. I've seen them for, you know, maybe 150 on eBay, depending on what you want. And then you can buy an expansion kit for it, which has some extra brass pet prep stuff. So you have some, some uh, if you want to, uh, you know, take out the military crimp, you know, those little tiny things, or, you know, a uniformer. You can buy an expansion kit of basically these little pieces, uh, which if you already have handheld tools, they fit, so whatever. Uh, but anyways, the expansion kit for this is like 29 bucks. The cool thing about this one is, it comes with, you know, all these little pieces, chamfer, deburr, small primer pocket cleaner, large primer pocket cleaner, but this trims off the shoulder. So this is a little bit faster than let's say the Lee. Now, and it comes with all the collets to pretty much do any size caliber you would ever shoot. So for about 180 bucks, you know, 150, 200, 180, depending on how much you want to spend, uh, you've got a piece here that can pretty much do everything. And it is powered, and it's pretty quick, and it works really well. Um, you know, to switch between calibers, basically you've got to switch out this little plastic neck collet, and then you got to go in here and you can dial in the size of how much you wanted to trim and. Um, 
all that. And you know, essentially, the the best thing to do with this particular unit is get you a piece of brass that you already know is sized exactly what you want, and keep it to the side. So if you're doing two, two, three, three oh eight, six five, creep more, whatever, you got you a piece of brass. You literally can put it in here, dial it in, set it. You're done. Um, you know, the only negative side to this piece, which you can run it either horizontal or vertical. Um, the only the only real negative thing I have to say about this is there is a rubber O-ring uh, when you take this piece off that you have to get on there. A lot of people have cross-threaded trying to get this piece on because of that rubber O-ring keeps popping off. It is a little bit of a hassle. Um, I have not cross-threaded this one. Um, because I'm careful when I take my time. So, but what, you know, this has a cool storage thing here. I'll take some pictures of it and put them on there for you. Uh, so basically it shows, you know, you got your storage of all your different collets, all your different neck sizes, and how you can set everything up. Um, you know, to switch calibers on this probably takes, you know, five minutes to switch, switch them out. It's not too bad. Anyway, so I like this unit. So. The next model, this is one of the first ones I ever bought. Uh, and I've had this one for a few years, and I like it. This is the Hornady uh, Lock and Load uh, Case Prep Center. These go for about $450 right now. Uh, it's current price on Midway USA. They don't sponsor me, but I do buy a lot of stuff from them. So this is, uh, you know, $450 right now. Uh, it does sizing. Uh, you know, you have your, your collets, your, you know, you, you have to change out your whatever. If you're doing 308, 223, you got to change this all out, you know, shell holder, blah, blah, blah. And then you've got motorized pieces here for chamfer deburr. I've got mine set up for chamfer deburr, uh, small primer pocket uniformer, um, large primer pocket uniformer, and I believe, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. These are the military crimp removers, and then these are my uniformers down here. This is a great unit. I really do like this unit. Um, the negatives to this unit, uh, you got to have different size shell holders. Um, and it does take time to, you know, you have to loosen this, put the shell in there, tighten it back down, then you can size. Then when you're done sizing, pop it up, then you have to take this off, take it out, then you can do all this. So I have done a lot of rounds on this. And I can say it works very well. I, uh, you know, I've only ever had one issue with this, and that was with one of the uh, the drive gear inside messed up. It popped off. Uh, I was able to take it apart and uh, look at it and put it back together. Uh, I guess one of the screws on the inside came loose, and it just, uh, you know, messed up. So I've only ever had one problem with this. I like this. This one is not the fastest, but it works. It takes up, you know, and what I do like about it is that it is vertical, so it takes up on my bench, you know, not a lot of space. And neither does this one. And I would say I like this one a little better than this one, simply because I don't have to do this part of it. This part of it is what slows me down. you got to sit here and lock this in, go up and down, unlock it, do your best. So, but since I started on this one, you know, I got used to it, but then I, you know, get spoiled with these kind of things here where they do the chamfer and the deburr. Now this is not chamfer and deburr, by the way. This one only trims. So then you got to use this chamfer and deburr. So you do have to do these steps. So, and same with this one. This one only trims, then you got to chamfer and deburr. Now what would make this one perfect would be if it had one more, one more uh, piece where, you know, instead of three spinning things, four. Well, I guess it wouldn't be four, but five. That would make this perfect in my opinion. The only reason I don't like this is because, well, I shouldn't say I don't like it. The one thing I dislike is, what I like about this is I can, over here, I can take out the military crimp, then uniform. So my primer pockets. Whereas on this one, I either have to clean it, uniform it, or, you know, because I only have the one option here for that. So anyways, like I say, this, I like this unit, $450, it's a good unit, you know, I've had it the longest out of all of these. It's really worked for me, but the slowest, again, the slowest part is having to lock in your brass, do all that, size it. And again, just like this one or this one, have a piece of brass that's already sized that you like. 
Uh, it makes, when you're setting the height faster, uh, Hornady actually makes this little shell plate thing, uh, which I have on here. It says all the calibers. So when you're setting the height of this, it's already set to all the different uh, calibers. So you don't have to have a piece of brass. You can use this, uh, and it goes pretty quick. That's why I've got it sit here on a little rope so that I don't lose it. Um, and then, uh, so that's the Hornady, and like I said, this is the this one is the upper echelon, I guess, of brass trimming uh, as far as money goes. Now, if you want the Coupe de Gracie, the Ferrari of brass trimmers, and I know all of my buddies who shoot, you know, precision rifle stuff, swear by these, and and I do too. I don't own one, but I've played with one. And if you got the money, get the Girard. I'm just gonna say that. Just, I'm just gonna put it out there like that. Hold on a second. This one here, the Girard power trimmer, is hands down the fastest trimmer slash chamfer deber. It does the trim, the chamfer, the deber. Now, and it's fast. I mean, it's stupid fast. You can watch YouTube videos on this one all day long. This one is very accurate. It's very fast. It's very precise. I don't think you can really beat it. Now, it's expensive. You know, this box right here for, with one caliber, just one caliber, is 460 bucks. Which, again, if budget is no option, bam, all day long. Uh, you know, but so if you want to start changing caliber, calibers, then you're going to have to get the case holder, you're going to have to get a, you know, cutter plate. So, this one it gets expensive for changing calibers. You're talking sixty dollars ish per caliber to change. Now, if you're the competition guy who goes through five hundred rounds of two two three, five hundred rounds of three oh eight, five hundred rounds six five three more, every time you go and shoot and you hate brass prep, I don't know a guy who really does like it yet. It is one of the most boring things in the world, but it's. It's important, but boring. This is the unit you want. This thing makes quick work of it. Uh, so like I said, now the downside to the Girard, if you want to say a downside is, it doesn't have any type of primer pocket cleaning that's motorized. Um, this, this basically, all this does is trim, chamfer, deburr. So your primer pockets, you have to do you know yourself now in a perfect world if you if it like again if a budget is no option get a gerard and pick up one of these or a hornady you know one of their little case prep duos that just sit right there on your thing and you can have that sucker spinning up you know for 100 bucks more that does your uh you know you have your primer pocket cleaner uniform or all that in there and just use that for that side by side with that you're talking money right there. I mean, you're, you you definitely be the fastest brass prep trimmer <laughs> cleaner on the face of the planet. So, so anyways, so again, so from budget, you know, the Lee uh, Deluxe Quick Trim to, you know, I'm gonna say, okay, this one is, in my opinion, the best budget you can get as far as cost as far as ease of use and you know again if you don't have power then these don't work whereas this still uh, still will and it's portable so if you want to take this to the range with you or whatever and do stuff there as far as uh, if you wanted the best power budget i would say the frankfurt arsenal because you can do every caliber and your prime one primer pocket at a time so if you just want to clean you're fine, but if you you know, if you're the guy who wants to make sure you take out a military crimp and all your brass because you pick it up at the range or something like that, you might want to get something else. But you know, so basically for this guy is 180 bucks, you can do everything. So I would say you know if you, the best budget is going to be this guy, the best Ferrari top end Gerard hands down, no comparison you know as far as the amount of speed uh, and accuracy. I, again, you know, the Hornady, I love it. Uh, I've had it the longest, but in comparison, you know, it's just 
I would I hate to use the word antiquated, but things are out there, you know, that are a lot faster. And again, this isn't every type of power trimmer. There's the RCBS uh, universal case prep. I don't have one. Uh, there's the Lyman, um, you know, motorized case prep that doesn't have a trimmer, but you can mod it to have a trimmer. Uh, I've seen some stuff on YouTube with that. Uh, you know, again, I'd go with the, this anyway. I'd go with the Frankfurt Arsenal if I was going to spend the same amount of money because it is about the same. Uh, and I'm sure there's some other ones, you know, World's Finest Trimmers. Uh, Gerard also makes, if you just want to shoot one particular caliber, they make a, uh, I think it's called the three-way cutter. Uh, like, so if you know you're just going to do 6.5 Creedmoor, you can do just 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, I would do that. But, uh, you know, so budget... Budget, budget, Lee, uh, I would say the best budget power would be this guy, and then top end, definitely Gerard. So anyways, I hope that helps. I hope it gives you some answers. Uh, if not, ask me some questions. I'll be more than happy to get out to you. But anyways, again, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching the YouTube channel, and uh, leave me some questions and comments, and I will try to answer them, get them out, and we'll get some more videos to you real soon. Have a great day.